Hello there, my name is Matthew van der Poot, or van der Putte. I have been a professional time-lapse photographer for over 8 years now, and today I'm teaching you how to render time-lapse sequences in camera using the Lumix S1 full-frame mirrorless camera. So we've shot our basic or advanced time-lapse sequences as we've seen in the previous videos. Now this results in a sequence of photos that we have to turn into a high resolution video file. When your time-lapse sequence is done shooting because you've stopped it yourself or it's just run to completion, you will get a little pop-up screen that says time-lapse shooting done, create video now. When you select no because you don't have time for it at this minute or you want to shoot another shot, don't worry about it, we can process them later on as well. Here's what happens when you click yes. The camera allows you to choose the resolution and the frame rate for the video that it's about to create. It'll also allow you to set a frame rate at which the video will play back. And it allows you to process the sequence in normal or in reverse order. My recommended settings for the highest possible quality are 4K at 25 frames per second with the playback set to 25 frames per second as well. You can choose full HD at 25 frames per second for easier playback on some slower devices. The amount of options you get in these menus for how to process these images are truly impressive and is very much appreciated by professionals like myself. Once you've selected your settings, click OK followed by yes and then let the camera process. Before the camera starts processing, it'll give you an estimate how long this will take. Up next, let me show you how to process a time-lapse sequence that is on the memory card already from a previous shoot. You'll notice on the screen that this sequence is marked as a collection of images. Click the menu button, go to the play menu and select the second tab from the top. Select time-lapse video and navigate to the sequence you want to process. Click set and adjust your desired settings. Once again, for the highest quality, I recommend setting the rec settings to 4K25 and the frame rate to 25 frames per second as well. If you're just sharing it on social media, I recommend full HD25. Once again, click OK, followed by yes, and let the camera process the sequence. Before you know it, you've got yourself a beautiful, high quality time-lapse video file. My name is Matthew, and thanks for watching.